Hello everyone, my name is Irvin, also known as Kubelman. This is one of those tips that will help you minimize the production impact for your business. So, how to install software when user does not have admin privileges? The issue is, the user may already be logged on to their computer and have you know 10 to 20 different things open and they're in the middle of working on something however they need this one software pretty much immediately and they would like you to install it for them because they don't have administrator privileges to do so typically you cannot make changes in a secure environment when user is logged on. The reason I say that is for the protection of most companies, um, the users will be restricted to an extreme point where they cannot install anything unless administrator is logged on to the computer. But we have a workaround for that. And once we complete this, uh, we will not have to force the user to log off and re-log re back in and continue their work. So in this case I went ahead and downloaded an example software that we can use to install. So let's say this user wants to install Chrome. I went ahead and downloaded it and just kind of put it inside of root of C here for easy access. So a so user comes through and you know tries to install this and uh, of course it, it kind of goes without saying that you shouldn't do this unless it's approved by your company as a secure application so be mindful of that. But once you know this is an approved application um, the way you could typically you would typically install this as administrator while the user is logged in is you simply right click the executable and run as administrator a lot of times once you do this you will get a pop-up you know asking you to put in your administrator privileges and that's perfectly fine however as mentioned previously, this can also be restricted by the domain, meaning that the user login credentials may even restrict this part of it. So you would select run as administrator, but nothing would happen. The way to go around, uh, around this issue is to run as a, another as another user. So how do we do that? As you can see here, once I right click, you only get this option, run as administrator. But if I hold shift on my keyboard, so hold shift and then right click, you suddenly get this another option that is called run as different user. So again, if I simply just right click it, I don't have that option. But if I hold shift on my keyboard and right click it, we have this option. So let's see what happens when we select run as administrator, or I'm sorry, run as a different user. We get this pop-up that allows us to put our credentials in and this will proceed to install this software of course given that we have that we are using or inputting I should say administrator login and password and there was just a pop-up and I know it didn't actually record it but it was pop-up asking me whether I want to run this application and here we are installing this software while user is logged on. This is very useful. 
when you're trying to save time and possibly money by limiting the production impact for your company.